YouTube was good with y'all, man. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's been a minute. I was in Atlanta for two and a half weeks. Uh, I shot a lot of content over there, so expect a vlog coming soon. But yeah, I'm back now. I already know y'all miss me, bro. Like y'all ain't got to tell me. But uh, yeah, as y'all seen by the title, today I'm gonna get into how to make hard Atlanta beats from scratch. I made this beat, uh, which I'm gonna deconstruct today. I made it in Atlanta, so let's get straight to it. So we back uh it's been like a month my bad but yeah i might be a little rusty so yeah let's get right into the beat got it pulled up right in front of me already laid it down so i'm gonna try my best to deconstruct it in the best possible way so of course we're gonna start out with the sample first and after that we're gonna get into the drums so i'm gonna start with the main melody right here we got two variations uh one pitched down an octave and one pitched up an octave that's what it sound like switch this up right here second four bars goes up an octave i really f with this melody so let's go right into it so y'all see it rendered out right here but of course i started out with some chords these chords that i started out with in c minor right here very basic so we just expand for that uh, I went into huge pads right here. Got the 31st preset called Oxygen Leak. Uh, I ain't really did nothing to the knobs for it. But yeah, I started out with these chords. Basic root note C. Copied it over four times throughout the first uh, four bars. Next, I went down into scale and used this G sharp and this G. Half steps right next to each other. It creates a lot of tension like I tell you on every video. Copied that over four more times. Next, I just went down one note into scale to F. Like I said, copied that over again. Then I copied that whole melody over. Got the bottom note. One, two, three, four, five. Pitch it down five notes. Uh, and that's a small tip I can give y'all. Any note you pitch up five will stay in the skill. Because I see a lot of people do this trick. They just copy it over and one, two, three, four, five. Copy it up five or copy it down five like that. But I don't really like the effect that that gives. So I usually just uh, pitch down the root notes. So it goes down from F to uh, to C right here. After that, as you can see, I rendered it out. And I pitch it down a whole octave using this pitch knob right here. And I put the range to 12. So it's a whole octave. And I also pitch it up one note. So instead of it being in C minor, it's now in C sharp minor. That's what it sounds like right now. Also reversed it. That's original. Sounds alright. But of course that means that the chords are flipped too. So I rendered it out again. Uh, chopped it up a little bit. So the first chords line up at the first four bars. And uh, the last chords line up with the last four bars. That's what it sounds like right now. Root note switches up, second four bars. And of course, added some effects to that. Start out with the EQ, just to kind of clean it up a little bit before I put any effects on it. Cut out the lows, completely cut them out. Also lowered some of the low mids and boosted the high mids a little bit right here. After that EQ, I add the shaper box to it with this uh, little distortion preset. Kind of made this sweep right here. Very subtle. After the shaper box, added the Valhalla finish rub to it. This preset right here. Add some room to it, some ambience. Then I cleaned up with EQ again. Lowered some of the low mids and uh, once again boosted some of the high mids. Yeah, that's only four effects, so nothing crazy. Then I laid it down right here. And I uh, made this part unique. Piss it up an octave. Let's kind of sw switch it up a little bit. And so I can just alternate between the two melodies throughout the beat. So I was fucking with this main melody I laid down, uh, but it was still missing some kind of body since this melody is very ambient. So I decided to lay down a piano from Keyscape. Lay down these root notes right here. How I laid that down. So I basically followed the root notes right here. C sharp goes up to F sharp, and that matches up with the root notes I laid down on the original sample. So we got F and C, but of course I pitched it up uh, one note. So F sharp and C sharp, so they line up. After I had those laid down, I added these in between, right here and right here. Right here, I'm just following the same chord that I started out with, right here. Same right here, same chord copied over. Then I added two new notes right here and right here, and I decided to leave a little gap in between to kind of build some tension for these two notes. We got a G sharp and an A right here. They're next uh, to each other in the scale, so that creates a lot of tension. Then right here, I added the F sharp and the G sharp, just to kind of switch it up from this part so it's not uh, the same. And then lastly, of course, as y'all can see, I copied it over three more times. So we got the middle octave right here, pitch it down the octave right here, 
and then I pitched it up an octave to kind of make it sound more full. And the preset that I use for that is the LA Custom C7 Rock, and I turned off the reverb since I wanted to add my own effects to it. Only put two effects on that piano. Start out with the EQ to clean it up, cut the sub lows out, and boost some of the highs. After that, to add some space to it, got this Valhalla Vintage Reverb right here, and I turned the mix down to 10% to keep it fairly subtle. So for the third melody, probably my favorite part of this beat is this ARP right here, which kind of fades in uh, after the intro into the hook. That's what it sounds like. Matches perfectly. And this ARP right here really complements the other uh, two melodies I laid down before. So the ARP I used for that came from Atmosphere. It's the Purdy Chaos preset. I just copied over the chords we uh, started out with on the first melody and just copied it into the, uh, into the ARP. Change the root note. So as of right now, I know it doesn't really sound that good, but uh, like I see the potential, right? So I decided to render it out. So we got the rendered out melody right here. Then I uh, decided to reverse it. So now it sounds like this. Sounds way better. But of course, I added some effects to it. Start out with the EQ, cutting the sub lows out, lowering some of the mids. After that, put a shaper box on it to pen it out from left to right. Put the mix uh, to 50%. And now lastly, of course, added a reverb to it. It's for Hollow Vintage Verb. With the reverb. Hard as fuck. And lastly, add this little accent to it for my Rook Season drum kit. Went to the perk section right here. Got this tubular bell. That's what it sounds like. It's very subtle. It's a cool accent to uh, add to it. And it just hits once on the first bar, then I copied it over on every eight bars. The effects I put into that, it's basic EQ, kind of some of the harsh frequencies out right here. Next, put a delay and a reverb on it. Fruity Delay 3, these settings right here. Used the ping pong preset to kind of pan it out a little bit. And also added the Fahala finish up to it. These settings right here. So yeah, we only really got like three melodies plus like the two brilla bell. And this uh, melody pissed down an octave. And that's pretty much it for the sample. So let's get into the drums. So for the drums, like always, all the drum sounds I use in this beat came from my Rook Season drum kit. My upcoming Heaven Set drum kit is almost done. So make sure to subscribe, man. I'm dropping this kit really soon. I'm just getting the cover right now. Yeah, like I said in previous videos, this is going to be my best kit so far. I uh, spent a lot of time on this. All the sounds were custom so no recycled bullshit so if you're trying to make your drum sound like mine make sure to get this kit when it comes out man uh, that's what the drum sound like with the melody so start out with the hi-hat and the snare uh for the hi-hat start out with the basic two-step and after that I added some rolls to it for the snare just a basic pattern and i'm gonna play it first and then deconstruct it The presets I used came from my Heaven Sent drum kit. Used the two tone hi hat for the snare. The snare right here. I've been using it in almost every one of my beats, man. I've been fucking with the kit heavy. When it comes to the hi hat pattern, like I said, start out with the basic two step and I added two rolls right here, which kind of hit right after each other. But of course, I added some rolls to it in lower octaves, also playing around with the velocity a little bit. And I believe I laid all of the rolls down in either third step or one six beat right here. So the first roll we got comes in after the second bar. I basically started with this roll right here, added a note in front of it, and two after it. And with these notes, it sounds way better compared to this. After this roll right here, basically got the same concept going on here. Just a faster roll, and I delayed some of the notes. Uh, a little bit more. Then for the last roll, got two notes right here to go up in velocity. Then this roll right here. Now lastly, I added this bottom note to it in the lower octave. Just a little accent added to it. Copy the whole thing over. And then for the ones who noticed, I played around with the panning on the rolls to kind of space it out a little bit to make it less mono. Pan this one to the right, pan this one to the left. Uh, played around with the panning on these, so it hits left, right, and it kind of fades into the left. Then, like I said, copy this straight over, so it's the same exact pattern right here. Next up, I decided to go for a sub bass on this beat instead of an 808. So I went to my Rook Season drum kit and got this sub right here. It's what it sounds like without the kick.
But of course, you want that kick in there. Went to my Rook Season drum kit, got the go to kick. This is what it sounds like with the sub bass. <laughs> So how I laid the sub bass down is I started out with the root note, C sharp right here. Copied that uh, same exact pattern over to F sharp, the next root note right here. Then I started out with this rhythm right here. But to add more bounce to it, I uh, left these little gaps in between. Also got these gaps right here, which I uh, also made in the chords. Got this G sharp and this A, and then right here you got the F sharp and the G sharp. So I just followed the root notes from the piano and copied them over into the sub bass. After that, of course, you got the kick. The kick mostly follows the sub bass, but I decided to add some double notes to it. Then I switch it up. So the first four bars basically exactly the same. It's the next four bars. I uh, delayed this last note a little bit to kind of make it sound more unique. So after that, I decided to add an open hat to it to kind of give the, the kick more impact. First thing I did before I laid the pattern down is so went to the open hat, right clicked it, and uh, put it to cut itself. And as you can see, these notes right here are completely silent, and that makes the note cut itself right here. That's why I put it on cut itself, of course. So right here, you got the uh, open hat playing, and right here, it automatically like cuts out completely, comes back in in a higher velocity, cuts back out, and then uh, it comes back in. And that gives it a little starter effect compared to if I didn't put it on cut itself. Oh, uh, that's a lot of bounce to it. Next, add a little counter snare to it from my Heaven Sent drum kit. And it hits on the end of every four bars. Just a little accent. That's pretty much it. Then I added another counter snare to it to fill in some empty gaps. Add some more bounce to it with a roll at the end too. That's what that sounds like. So we'll start out with this note right here, right at the beginning. Then added these two notes uh, right here next to each other on the fourth bar. Copy that over to the next four bars. But then of course add this roll to it. Now I'll let this down. Basically five notes that hit right after each other. Turned the first one into a roll and uh, made the other ones go down in, in pitch. Then I also played around with the velocity a little bit. So this roll fades in and then these three notes right here fade out. And then I panned uh, these two to the left and right. And the last two of way more to the left and way more to the right. And that gives it a really cool like panned effect. Now lastly, want to add some percussion to it for some ear candy and to add some more bounce to it. So I got these perks from my Heaven Sand drum kit. Start out with this one that hits on uh, every two bars. It's just something slight, but I decided to add a delay to it with the ping pong effect and add a vol of any to it to uh, kind of make it sound less dry. Then got this perk right here, which I added on the end of every two bars, then copied it over to the next four bars. And also decided to add a delay to that with the same ping pong preset. And then after I laid all the drums down, of course I arranged the beat. So right here we got an 8-bar intro with the melody pitched down an octave, the piano, and this arp fading in. Next we got a 16-bar hook with the main melody playing throughout the whole hook. We got the main melody pitched up an octave at the first 8 bars. Second 8 bars got the melody pitched down an octave. We got the piano playing throughout the whole hook. The arp only plays in the first 8 bars. Of course you got the tubular bell hitting on every 8 bars. After the hook got a 16-bar verse. Starts out with the main melody pitched up an octave. Then at the second 8 bars took the main melody out completely to leave a lot of space for the artist. So the arp is the only thing that's playing throughout the whole verse. Kind of switches up right here. A lot of space for the artist. Phase into the bridge right here. For the bridge, I uh, got the main melody pitched down an octave with the piano 
and of course the arp fitting in right here all right so that's pretty much it that's how i would make hard atlanta beats from scratch in atlanta yeah like i said in the beginning of the video a vlog coming soon man shot a lot of content in atlanta so stay on the lookout for that and like I always want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end really appreciate y'all for subscribing to the channel we just passed 16k subs like it's y'all y'all going crazy man yeah don't forget to like the video check out my kits all that stuff trump kit dropping soon so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that too stay notified when i drop the kit yeah that's pretty much it for me today so i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video man yes they say Thank you